Hi, my name is William Davis. I own APC Photography at WDCD Media, and today we have... Buki Gates, founder of Baseball Beyond Borders. Can you tell us a little bit about Baseball Beyond Borders and yeah. how it relates to Seattle? Yeah, Baseball Beyond Borders is a sports-based youth development organization really trying to create the black experience within baseball and softball, providing access and opportunities so kids can use baseball and softball as a viable vehicle uh, to advance their life and academic outcomes. This summer, you were part of a major, huge event for Seattle and it revolved around the HBCUs. Could you explain what you did and how you brought together the HBCUs to Seattle with Major League Baseball? I think it was a great opportunity during All-Star Week that the HBCU Swingman Classic uh, was brought to Seattle at the first inaugural uh, you know, event of its kind. Obviously, thanks to Ken Griffey Jr. for the brilliance and obviously the vision to set forth to give uh, HBCU players a platform to be exposed to a national audience. Uh, that was just a beautiful thing. It was even great for our people here in the Northwest to be able to find and have a connection to see black baseball exist within our region. How can we bring more of the HBCU legacy meaning in baseball and in sports itself, to the Pacific Northwest, Seattle, Portland, and these areas here, especially from Texas, North Carolina, Alabama, Mississippi, how can we do that? I think we already got a pipeline set, right? We do a lot of college tours that takes kids from the Northwest down to a historically black college university across the country. But now the opportunity is to continue to build those relationships with those sports programs, particularly the baseball and softball coaches, and identify ways in which we can get them here to Seattle to be able to participate and play uh, and, and be exposed so that we can see the continued legacy of the Swingman Classic take place when it comes to just exposing HBCU college teams to be able to play uh, baseball and softball here. Do you think Seattle Mariners will step in, especially with the Rainier League down in Tacoma and other small leagues in the area? The, what, what do they call it? The Bush Minor leagues? leagues? Minor Leagues. Yep. Well, there's, a, there, there's, there's hope that the Seattle Mariners, obviously what we got to realize is that they saw something that we also saw. They saw black people inside of their stadium. And in order to really gain and garner that fan base of those black, that black people that was here, they're going to have to do something different. And part of that is looking at how we can create a pipeline with HBCUs and also create that uh, kind of that momentum that was already built and established from that HBCU Swingman Classic. Speaking of momentum, now there was something we spoke about earlier today, and that was baseball only gave us, Major League Baseball only gave you 5,000 seats to start with. Mm -hmm. And what did you do and how did you change their vision of that? We let the people know. Right. Uh, you know, obviously it was a community effort. It was the ability to really reach out to the masses and make sure that everybody knew that HBCU Swingman Classic was here and we wanted each and every one of them to be present. I think beginning in the inaugural year, right, there was no expectation from anybody, right? Major League Baseball didn't have an expectation. Uh, Seattle probably didn't have an expectation. But then when we really found out the, the essence of what we really could do and how we can elevate the promise that we had to talk about the legacy of baseball in the black community, particularly baseball in Seattle has a rich culture for the black community as well, that's when you start to see the masses come out. And so we were able to really build that groundswell. And obviously we showcased, uh, the, not only did we showcase those players on the field, but we saw the history and the legacy of what black uh, community is here in Seattle. And how many people did you fill that stadium with? We ended up getting 10,000 folks in that stadium to participate in the HBCU Swingman Classic. That is amazing. So yeah. thank you so much for what you've done. If you had a, a closing statement, something you wanted to say to everybody out there about black baseball and our community involvement, what would it be? Well, I think we got to get involved, right? We got to understand the legacy that it brought, right? We, 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 it was the only sport we've ever owned as a people. So how do we continue to preserve the cultural legacy? And that takes every single voice to be able to get out there and continue to build this uh, communal, community, the ecosystem. Uh, that existed, right? We're talking about Negro League Baseball was an ecosystem. So now how do we continue to build that ecosystem, uh, not just solely around the sport of baseball, but around our community that includes baseball as a viable option for our, for our people? All right, Boogie, thank you very much for your time today. I appreciate you. All good. Thank you.